In the previous episode, I have explained you about all new norms, regulations and fees about traveling to Bhutan and also shared our day one experience of entering Bhutan by road and immigration. Today, we shall take you with us into the beautiful road trip to the capital Thimphu from Funchaling. So we just started our journey and everybody is smiling, giggling and doing what not. <laughs> the first thing you notice after coming here is the cleanliness. Bhutan is one of the most clean con uh, countries in the world. Only carbon uh, negative country, which means they absorb more carbon dioxide than what they produce. So folks, we have uh, come to Karibandi Monastery. It was part of our itinerary. This one is pretty close to Funchiling. Nice place, but unfortunately we are not going inside because uh, they are taking 1000 rupees per head for giving us an entry. And uh, we talked to Norbu, he said, there are bigger monasteries we are going to cover. Please remember now to enter almost all the public attractions and monuments and museums in Bhutan. You need to pay an entry fee, which is somewhere between 1000 to 2000 rupees per head. So, if you are traveling on a budget, you can plan accordingly. If maybe uh, you can enter in some of the famous monasteries or museums selectively, but again, it all depends on you. So, Nuru, what next? Uh, next stop, like uh, on the way, we'll drop by anywhere, like for lunch, mm -hmm. and there's some places we can drop by and see the places, appreciate it, and we'll head towards the capital city. Okay, okay. thank you. Let's go. Uh, whenever we visit any kind of monuments, right? Uh, temple, be temple, or any places, please uh, make sure you wear like full sleep, okay? That's the main thing we have to, we have to keep in our minds, all right? Okay. okay. We just stopped by here at a beautiful place to buy some oranges and uh, bananas. These are local producers here and very fresh, organic. And this place is simply amazing. The moment you step your feet inside Bhutan, you can really feel the freshness and some positive vibe. Bhutan is what do you call this uh, oranges? Chelu. Chelu. And uh, banana? Nala. 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 So chelu and nala. 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 Na. 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 La. La. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so I think it will take some while for me to understand and speak uh, Bhutanese. We call it Bhutanese, but actually the language is Zongkha. There are many other languages in Bhutan, but Zongkha is the official language, which is part of a Sino-Tibetan uh, language group. And uh, for writing, they use a Tibetan script. Ah, so, as we started going up, uh, the temperature dropped drastically. It's foggy and misty in here. We stopped to put on our jackets because it will be required from this point onward. Ah, beautiful. The place is beautiful.
so folks we just stopped here for having our lunch and uh, look at the view simply amazing the name of the hotel is divine midway it is just overlooking the valley i'm feeling pukish having a little headache uh, the roads are pretty winding so if you are coming here and if you have motion sickness uh, be prepared take your medicine before you start from funcheling I was feeling really cold outside so came here sat in front of this heater and feeling really cozy others are eating but I am not feeling like hopefully I'll feel better once I reach Thimphu and eat something over there I was uh, having a talk with Mr Tenzin he works for BBS Bhutan Broadcast Services and he, he shared many interesting uh, you know information about Bhutan and he also suggested some of the places which I should visit uh, thank you very much sir okay thank you okay. definitely you will be enjoy so safe journey and see you how is the food uh, so i had to put my thick jacket over here because the temperature is getting really cold and what an awesome place this is if you are traveling uh, from funcheling to thimphu i can strongly recommend this restaurant divine midway uh, the service is too good the food is awesome and uh, the view is just mind blowing it is just amazing So we just stopped for uh, five minutes here on uh, Talalum Bridge. Norbu was telling us that when Will Smith came here in Bhutan to shoot some documentary, he actually did a stunt from this bridge. He jumped down there. Wow, it's quite deep. It's getting very cold here, and uh, there is a snowfall forecast. in Thimphu which is going to jeopardize our uh, itinerary but anyway who is in hurry we want to enjoy our time here and that's what we are doing and it, it feels so great to be here in Bhutan the last shangrila we got a glimpse of uh, wangchu river or rather wangchu because chu means river in zongkha and it was looking fabulous so we thought of you know stopping here for 5 minutes this place is simply awesome when you are going towards thimphu i think you should stop here for maybe 5 10 minutes and enjoy the view soak the positive energy from the environment you are going to love it right my boy When you are doing road trips in Bhutan, I suggest to stop by local market and enjoy hot cup of tea. Chatting with locals and sharing warmth of food fire is a wonderful experience. So folks, we just uh, reached Thimphu and we checked into hotel uh, Gakil which is right in the market area we are just loving it just right here there is an open air theater where some band is performing so we shall drop our luggages freshen up a little bit and then go and check out
we have triple sharing room so there are three beds very neatly done and that window is facing the market area and the open air theater the room is quite nice and it's on a very prime location just outside there are plenty of hotels shopping areas wow look at that man that is a real rock crowd <laughs> it's uh, 7:20 now and we are heading downstairs we shall go out for our dinner um, there is a restaurant over here but we decided to go out and try some local restaurant but before that we shall go to that open air theater currently the temperature of thimphu is around 4 degree centigrade and air quality index is 11 can you believe it you can feel the freshness in the air it's a very vibrant place actually there are a lot of pizzerias lot of restaurants people are enjoying their time man eh? what we thought as a rock band performance turned out to be grand finale of the voice of bhutan It feels really nice and cozy in front of uh, the heater. Outside, it is almost three degrees right now. It feels really warm, cozy inside this restaurant. <sighs> Cheers! Cheers! So, folks, we ordered uh, imadatsi. which is the national dish of uh, bhutan bhutanese are very fond of ema means chili and datsi is cheese so they have different preparations of cheese let me show you it is full of chili so it is not like cheese cooked in chili it's the other way around chili cooked in cheese sauce so let us try that mm this is really good a little spicy but very good flavors very very good flavors i'm loving it so i am going to have emadatsi a lot many times during my stay in bhutan uh the food was nice very tasty as well as quite reasonably priced so if you are visiting thimphu maybe you can try this rice bowl restaurant just bang opposite to the uh, clock tower and now we are going back to our hotel we wanted to roam a little bit but it's 0 degree outside here and kids are not feeling very comfortable really really cold like it's freezing cold here and if you blow you can see smoke <laughs> coming coming from your mouth We are really hoping to see some snowfall during our uh, trip here in Bhutan. Let's see. Uh, expecting to see snowfall at Chilala Pass. We spent a good day here at Thimphu. Tomorrow we have a very long day. We have many places to cover around Thimphu. I hope you have enjoyed this episode along with us. If so, give it a like. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to be part of our journey and also do watch other videos of Bhutan travel series.